Hey guys, this is Ben from Bitcoin and Altcoins.com, and in this video, we're going to give you some tips on using PCIe risers. Um, we sell PCIe risers through MinerParts.com, so I thought um, giving you some tips would be handy because this is one of the most common areas of failure on your mining rig. So, one of the things I want to show you that's a tip is um, this is a 16 slot. These are one slots. Um, so obviously this fits in a one slot perfectly, right? Because it's designed for that. But you may not have realized that this also fits fine in the 16 slot. This ridge, this notch, fits right in the notch on the 16 slot. So it fits perfectly and it sends all the data that it needs to the graphics card. Um, we're not playing computer games or anything. We're using this for a mining rig, so it's fine to use that. And then you don't have to use those ribbon cables. You can use these. You can have all your rigs properly spaced out. If you see, you know, there's plenty of air space in between each card for airflow. I put a big fan in front of this to cool it off. So that's one thing. You'll also notice that this cable, this black cable, that's what comes with the mining rig this black USB cable. Now if you're having problems with your mining rigs you can switch to you can buy a cable you can also buy a longer USB cable just make sure they're USB 3. They need to be USB 3 cables and you can tell a USB 3 cable because the connector is blue on the inside. An old USB cable has a black connector. That's one of the ways that you can tell you're connecting to USB 3 instead of USB 2. Um, another thing to look at is this, this, this is one of the most common points of failure. Um, if you look at some of these bad ones that we had in the past, look at the back of that. It's a mess versus the back of the green one. It's just sloppy. The vendor did a really bad job with this black one. So if you have these problems on your uh, 1.x, you might want to switch to some that are better quality. Um, you can also clean this. Um, you can clean these, um, con they're not called connectors, what are they called? I don't know, my brain just fried, so we'll just go with it. You clean these, um, rubbing alcohol works great. Take rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and just wipe them off and clean any dirt off of them. Um, any grease off of them that works off of the, the gold plated connectors that go into the motherboard. Um, now I'm using an AS Rock motherboard and um, I'm not, oh I'll put it in backwards. I'm using an AS Rock motherboard and even though the AS Rock motherboard has power connectors for you to run power into the motherboard and use unpowered risers, I'm using powered risers. That's something that I think is also really important. These graphics cards are, these are intense graphics cards. They draw a lot of power from the PCI risers. So I want to make sure I'm using powered risers. Um, also, if we look back here, um, you know, these have extra slots that I could plug in. I could try and run a bunch of PCI risers off one power cord. I prefer to just run one, okay? So I've plugged the end into the PCI riser. I'm trying not to overload it. Even though your power cords might be able to support more, try not to overload the power. Um, and finally, make sure you get yourself some, you know, compressed air, right? Compressed air in a can like this, because if you're using open air rigs, there's going to be a lot of dust. And so you can take, you could take these out of the slot and you can squeeze some air into it, you know, and make sure there's no dust in there. And you can clean everything out and make sure that um, there's no dust build up. And all of these things should really help you with your mining rigs. And, and just like we were talking about with the PCI power, um, this is a this is a power cord. This is the for one of our graphics cards. 
this is the 8 pin connector it's got 6 and a 2 and then it's got another 6 on the end of it um, you know I, I just leave this unconnected I don't want to connect that to anything I don't want to suck any more power I want I want one video card per cable one video card per cable if that makes sense now I had some 280X's and um, were they 280X's? 380X's and they required two six pins and in that case I would use two six pins from one power um, but otherwise and I just wouldn't use the the two pin if that makes sense um, so those are some tips make sure that you make sure that all of your connections are good if you're having any problems with one of them not connecting just go through wiggle make sure they're seated properly make sure that the cables are all pushed in properly and do the same thing here on your rig make sure that that cables and and make sure that the power cable back there is plugged in properly as well on all of your rigs so if one of them isn't showing up in my experience it's been stuff like loose connections um, that's the majority of the problem um, but if you have a lot of equipment you also might try swapping out the USB cables I know some guys prefer to buy their own cables buy a better quality cable than the ones that come with the PCI risers I mean you can tell that one's got more shielding to it the blue one is a more robust cable so you could replace all of your cables you could use longer ones or shorter ones or whatever too um, and replace all of your cables all right hope these PCI riser tips have helped you out remember uh, we sell them through minorparts.com and we're really strict with the vendors you know when the vendor starts sending me crap like this I get all over them and you know when I start getting returns because I'm getting risers that look like this you know um, this side looks fine but this side just looks sloppy and that's a bad sign that there's probably some quality control issues in that factory so we let our vendors know and they switch us over to the green ones and we've loved the green ones ever since we started using them. And uh, you can find more risers like these on MinorParts.com. Take care.